Hello, I'm Mike Leeson, and welcome as ESPN Classic presents a vintage college basketball showdown between Indiana and Ohio State from 1985. The Hoosiers were ranked eighth in the country with a record of 11 and three. Sophomore guard Steve Alford led Indiana in scoring that year with just over 18 points a game, while senior center Uwe Blob added 16. Meanwhile, Ohio State was 10 and three and featured Brad Sellers and Dennis Hobson. Indiana had taken 20 out of the last 27 meetings against the Buckeyes. Throughout the game, we'll look back at Bob Knight's playing days at Ohio State, offer up some classic trivia, and revisit college basketball's plays of the decade from the 1980s. Here's a sampling, just to whet your appetite. Lane's on the other wing. He finds oh! oh! You don't want to miss all of that and more. It's Indiana and Ohio State from 1985 right here on ESPN Classic. It's a battle of a good shooting team and a team with speed and quickness. Indiana, one of the nation's best field goal shooting teams, is led by Steve Alford, who is hitting 61% from the floor. Ohio State, with its good team speed, looks to Brad Sellers to start a transition game that often finds Troy Taylor or Ron Stokes out front. This afternoon, the Buckeyes and the Hoosiers collide in Big Ten basketball. ESPN presents College Basketball 85. From St. John Arena in Columbus, Ohio, it's Big Ten Basketball between the Indiana Hoosiers and the Ohio State Buckeyes. Just about set to go. Number 33, Uwe Blop, will jump for Indiana. Number four, Brad Sellers of Ohio State. There are the starting lineup once again. Jeremy Simmons, Blop, Alfred, and Morgan. Konchek, Hobson, Sellers, Stokes, and Taylor. The series, as we mentioned at the top, goes back to the early 1900s, and Indiana with the advantage, 71-55. The Hoosiers have won the last three between the two schools. However, the Buckeyes have won two of the last three meetings here. And George Solomon will toss it up, and we're set to go. Great to have you with us. Big Ten basketball, and the opening tip is controlled by Ohio State. Stokes, Taylor, Gonchak, number 42. Troy Taylor. See how they match up in the early going. Bill mentioned a few moments ago, we might see Konchek guarding Block. They go back the other way. Ronnie Stokes, top of the key. Joe Konchek. Shot is off. Block saving it. And a foul. Very quickly, you see the quickness of Ohio State as Troy Taylor got to the loose ball. It's the first person of the game. I was surprised that Block tried to save that. I thought the ball was off Ohio State, but he went after it and put the ball in play, so the foul. Both of these clubs should be extremely well rested. Neither has played since last Saturday. Most times in the Big Ten scheduling, when the uh, traveling partners meet, they'll have had a week off. Most times. Dennis Hobson starts the scoring for Ohio State. Good quick move by Hobson. He got a step on Uve inside and just knocked in the little half hook. Morgan in the block. And a violation traveling call. Bill, you were right. It was Konchek on Uve block. Well, Sellers has the height of being a seven-footer himself, but simply just doesn't have the weight. Sellers right around 205 pounds. You see Bob Knight and his staff. Starting the day, tied for the Big Ten lead with Iowa. Troy Taylor drives to the lane, puts the shot up. Simmons with a rebound for Indiana. Mentioned Iowa, the Hawkeyes are at Michigan tonight. 
Crawford. Pass Giomi to Simmons, and Simmons with the first two Indiana points. A couple of passes to set it up. Very unselfish play that time by Giomi, who had to move for himself inside. Gave it up for the wide open layup. Number 14, Troy Taylor brings it back out. Konchak Stokes fires it up and in. So it is four to two, Ohio State. We're two minutes into the game. Stokes and Taylor hit a couple from outside, and that'll make their quickness even more important. They can bring that defender to them. Simmons with a shot off the rim. Stokes. Here he comes. All the way. Yes. A four-point Buckeye lead. Ronnie Stokes at the moment on Steve Alford. Knocked away, but Stokes will be penalized. He'll get the foul. Not much of a screen set out on top. Alford simply coming across. Stokes getting through and reaches in and gets him on the wrist. The Buckeyes have won all seven home games this year. They've won 12 of their last 13 games played at St. John Arena going back to last year. Stolen by Taylor. Taylor fouled by Morgan. Quickness, quickness, quickness. Taylor taking it inside. So Troy Taylor will go to the line on that foul against Morgan, second Indiana team foul. Troy Taylor, 41 of 48 from the free throw line this year. As you see the percentage. First point for Taylor and Ohio State leads by five. Stokes and Taylor coming into this ball game with 699 assists between them for their career and 261 steals. As we said uh, 10 days ago when we saw the uh, Buckeyes with Bow Ohio State with a pressure, Taylor and Stokes have played together since junior high school. Out of bounds, but it'll be Indiana's ball. Indiana trailing by six points. Early going, Bob Knight's club is down by the half dozen points. Alford inbounds it to Morgan. Alford gets it back and scores. Fine out of bounds play and good movement without the basketball by Alford. Made a little step like he was going to go toward the lane. Simply popped outside for the open jumper. Indiana very good outside shooting club. Eight to four, Ohio State leads. Just under 17 minutes remaining in the first half. Taylor. Koncheck the rebound. Joe Koncheck, his first two points. Buckeyes lead it 10 to four. Good aggressive move by Koncheck. Giomi missing the block out along the baseline. And a foul. It is against Winston Morgan. And that'll be his second personal. Simply not Indiana's game, the running game. And that time, Koncheck with a little bit of acting. But Morgan initiated the contact. Good call. Buckeyes leading by six. Brad Sellers inside to Koncheck, and Koncheck missed the shot. Simmons. Now Steve Alford. Alford bumping Taylor. Pass inside to Giomi. He's called for traveling. Went from Alford to Morgan to Giomi and called for the violation. Neither ball club really settled down at the offensive end so far. We're getting about one or two passes and getting the ball airborne. Bob Knight in front of the Indiana bench. Taylor to Hobson, and a traveling call against Dennis Hobson. Now yeah, we're off to a very exciting start. 15 minutes and 56 seconds remaining in the first half. It's the Ohio State Buckeyes, 10, and the Indiana Hoosiers, 4. Back with more right after this. 
You ever try to get somebody to pay attention to you when you're disabled? Well, that's how Binder & Binder got to be America's most successful Social Security Disability Advocates. We listen to you and we get results. Call 1-800-66-BINDER. It gives you a tremendous sense of pride to own your own business. We sell ourselves. We sell our name. We sell our image. We want that image to stick. I'm always introducing myself. I'm always handing out cards. Vistaprint allows business owners to more effectively and affordably promote their business. The fact that we use Vistaprint to put our name out in the community in everything that we do just goes to show the level of confidence that we have in Vistaprint. The easy to use tools and templates at Vistaprint.com make it simple to look professional and coordinate your marketing across everything from business cards to websites to postcards and more. See how easy with 250 of our most popular cards now new, improved, and still only $10. 250 cards, you can leave a lot of impressions with that. I have about 20 to 50 business cards on me at any time. Visit vistaprint.com, and as an introductory offer, we'll cover the shipping for free. I'm not, I'm not sure there is much else you can do for $10 from a marketing standpoint. vistaprint.com. On Super Tuesday, two marquee programs tip off in a late season top 20 battle. After being near the top of the polls all season, the Hoosiers look to remain atop the Big Ten. Playmaker Victor Oladipo leads Indiana against gritty Ohio State in a game that could be another Big Ten classic. Arkansas, Missouri at 7, then Ohio State versus Indiana at 9, tonight on ESPN. Let's stop time and enjoy this moment. They will bring the sexy back, the surprise back, the heat back. They are the new cast of Dancing with the Stars live season premiere event, Monday, March 18th on ABC. All right, back to action. Ohio State leading by six. Shot over Konchek. Underneath the rebound. Giomi put it up. Flop is there. Uwe Flop. Basket is good, and the foul will be on Troy Taylor. Now that time down on the original shot, Alford shot it a little quickly because they actually had a pick and roll developing with Uwe Flop going inside. It would have been Ronnie Stokes or Uwe all alone. Giomi hustling the basketball inside, keeping it alive. And then the big man coming across. Complete the three-point play. And completed he does. Ohio State leading 10 to 7, 15-35, remaining in the first half. In the end of the slower of the two clubs, obviously not pressuring Ohio State, simply trying to play the good team defense inside. And the tip in by Dennis Hobson. Indiana Bench wanted a traveling call, didn't get it. Good quick move once again by Hobson. State by five, 15 10 remaining in the first half. Simmons to Morgan. Steve Alford looked. Dumps it off to Giomi. Mike Giomi from Newark, Ohio. That's about 45 minutes down Interstate 70. And the foul on Dennis Hobson. Looked like it was all ball upstairs. I think he got the basketball cleanly and then collided. After he went for the basketball, Hobson going up, got the ball, and then the man. Morgan to go to the line, shooting a pair. Morgan is 10 of 13 from the line this season. Oh, no, they're going to put it on the side. Must have been way after the shot there. Mm. 12 to 7, Ohio State leads. Simmons into Giomi, waited and got the opening. That time Brad Sellers turned his head a little bit inside. He was so conscious of helping Joe Konchak on Uwe Blop that he lost sight of his own man. Indiana found him very quickly. And Sellers, shot that is in and out. Steve Alford. Giomi, this side, Marty Simmons. Hobson jumping by Simmons. Inside, Uwe Block. And the Buckeyes lead is cut to one. 
Good ball handling by the Hoosiers. Find look inside by Morgan. At one point, Ohio State led 10 to 4. Buckeye lead is now 12 to 11. Sellers pass intended for Hobson. Alford leads the charge three on two. And Alford puts Indiana in front. Team defense got him that hoop. Sellers took it on his own, one on one down the left side. And by the time he jumped in the air, there was five Indiana Hoosiers around that basketball when he released it. Well, the table has turned in favor of Indiana. Ohio State must be effective from the outside to pull Indiana out a little bit. Otherwise, they'll simply claw back inside and really help one another. Ron Stokes with a shot. Morgan has it. Knocked away by Taylor. Taylor stepped on the line. Good hustle by Taylor to get a hand on that one. Substitution, uh, Dave Jones is in. Also number 34, Clarence McGee comes in for the Buckeyes. Taylor and Hobson go out. 13-12, Indiana leads with 13-11 remaining in the first half. Now McGee primarily is just a board man. Jones, an excellent outside shooter. Kicking an outside shot, that's Marty Simmons from the left side. From Lawrenceville, Illinois, and Indiana with a three-point lead. inside on Sellers. Dave Jones took the shot and the foul. It is on Clarence McGee, number 34. Giomi had the inside position. There's the block out. McGee pushing on the back. Both hands. George Solomon, Darwin Brown, Mike Stockner are the Big Ten officials. Pressure from Ohio State. And... Uh, Marty Simmons having some trouble. You know, he looked like he was having a difficult period right after he hit that jumper when he ran by the Indiana bench. He mentioned to his chest, stayed in for another sequence and had trouble catching his breath. Taking a sip of water, but very quickly, Stu Robinson up off the Indiana bench. So Simmons will come out for a moment as Robinson comes in. 15 to 12, Indiana leads. Eldon Miller's record at Ohio State, 147 and 97. Eldon is 4 and 13 against Indiana. Inside to Uwe Block. Brad Sellers. Sellers is the Buckeyes uh, team leader in scoring and he's yet to score today. Now the fouls on Mike Giomi, number 41, his second personal. And Indiana will influence the team to take the ball toward the baseline. They feel that's a tougher shot to hit. There's the team defense coming, the help of the former Robinson. As you'll see Giomi very clearly smack Dave Jones on the right arm as he released the basketball. Ronnie Stokes goes out, Troy Taylor back in. Dave Jones with the Lions shooting two, a 7.4 average for the season from Jewett, Ohio. Buckeyes in the early going are three of three at the line, trailing out by two points, Bill. Probably look for Eldon Miller to try to get Brad Sellers even out on the floor a little bit more, possibly to bring Blop out away from the basket. They simply can't get the ball to him at the offensive end of the floor. Dave Jones now picking up the personal foul on the pressure defense. Uh, that's number one on Jones, number five on Ohio State. Not too much there, just a little contact with the chest. Official looking like they're trying to keep this one under control in the early going. Just over 12 minutes left in the first half. Indiana leading by one. Alford had it knocked away by Taylor and went out of bounds. And that 
that will stop the clock with 11 minutes and 57 seconds remaining in the first half. Bob Knight's Indiana Hoosiers, 15. Eldon Miller's Buckeyes, 14. Back with more right after this. Friday night, buddy. You are going to need a wingman. And with my cash back, you are money. Forget him. My airline miles will take your game worldwide. What I'm really looking for is... I got two words for you. Rewards. There's got to be better cards than this. There's a better way with CreditCards.com. Compare hundreds of cards from all the major banks to find the one that's right for you. It's simple. Search, compare, and apply at CreditCards.com. First round's on me. There's a skin tag here, a skin tag there. Those bothersome, embarrassing skin tags pop up everywhere. Now get rid of them the fast, easy, natural way with Tag Away, the skin tag remover that naturally and painlessly eliminates pesky skin tags. Tag Away is a homeopathic topical remedy made from all natural plant extracts that help eliminate these harmless skin overgrowths without any pain. Simply apply all natural Tag Away as directed and skin tags will just dry out and fall away. Tag Away works on all skin types and is safe for even your most sensitive areas. You can order one bottle of Tag Away for just $19.99. That's enough for up to 60 applications. All natural Tag Away is proudly formulated in the USA and guaranteed to remove your skin tags without pain or simply return the bottle for a full refund of the purchase price. But wait! Order right now and get a second bottle of Tag Away absolutely free. This incredible $40 value is all yours for $19.99. Call or log on now. ESPN, the home court of Big Monday. Are you telling me there's no magic in this house tonight? The home court of Super Tuesday. Oh, my goodness. The home court of Wednesday Night Hoops. Got it for three. The home court of Thursday Night Showcase. Hello, the high rise zone. The home court of Saturday Primetime. ESPN, the home court of College Hoops. Be there all season long on ESPN3. Do you owe money to the IRS? Are you years behind in your tax filings? Has the IRS threatened to take your home or place of business? Threatened bank levies, liens, or wage garnishment? Tax relief providers are specialists at solving tax issues and problems. Call tax relief providers for a free consultation at 1-888-877-1090 or visit taxreliefproviders.com. Tax relief providers will get the IRS off your back and get you some relief again. Call 1-888-877-1090 or visit taxreliefproviders.com. Bob Knight was a member of Ohio State's 1960 National Championship team and helped the Buckeyes to three Big Ten titles. With a look back at Knight's playing days, here's a portion of SportsCenter Flashback. I imagine you hate to see the four years pass, and I imagine they've passed quickly for you, have they not? Well, we don't think it's quite all over yet, Jim. We feel we've got four big ones ahead of us, and we'll worry about what's passed when we get these four over with, you I betcha. think. In his three years <clears throat> at Ohio State, I don't think Bobby started two games, but he was a first and second sub off the bench. But he was a student of the game, there's not much question about that. Yeah. But for three years, I think Bobby kind of really festered because he, he wanted to be in the action. He was, he was a gung-ho, competitive kid. When you think of him as a player, they think of Indiana defense. Well, he wasn't the greatest defensive player in the world because he did not have the quickness. And when you get fouled by night, there it was never a questionable call. You knew you were fouled. Coach Fred Taylor says, Bobby, you can't guard the floor. Well, ironically, Bobby has become known later on and throughout most of his coaching career as a true defensive genius. A native of Orville, Ohio, Bobby Knight's collegiate playing career at Ohio State was far less auspicious than his team's success. From 1960 to 62, the Buckeyes made three straight title game appearances and won the national championship in 1960. He's a pretty good basketball player. He's a very good shooter, never made a mental mistake, and that's one of the things that's critical with him today, and he's very cerebral. Besides idolizing his varsity coach of three years, Fred Taylor, Knight also took some pointers from another Ohio State icon in the coaching profession, this one from the football field. Bobby was a student of Woody Hayes which is pretty obvious because he used to come over to high State uh, football practices in the spring. His season's over with and he'd come over just to stand around and, and watch uh, Woody, uh, you know, his coaching tactics. I think he picked up all the, all the uh, negative things about Hayes, the domineering, the intimidation, the, uh, the flying off the handle, the, the temper. His intensity is so much and I said, Bob, you're <laughs> You're going to have to cool it back, gear down a little bit, because you're going to self-destruct like Woody did. Bobby Knight could be anything he wanted to be. He's brilliant, 
And if he wanted to be a politician, he could be that. If he wanted to be a lawyer, he could be that. If he wanted to be a doctor, he could be that. Knight then became the youngest head coach in the country at the age of 24 when he took over Army. He went to Indiana in 1971. Still ahead, college basketball's plays of the decade from the 1980s. Stay with us. It's the Hoosiers and Buckeyes from 1985 right here on ESPN Classic. Robinson, number 22. Mike Giomi, guarded by Sellers. And out to Steve Alford. Ellen Miller back up off the bench again, wanting that five-second call for closely guarding. Block up behind Kotchak, and Uwe Block with seven points. Block played just 10 minutes last Saturday when we provided you with a telecast from Bloomington. A little two-man game that time. Fine pass from Alford. Pass to Sellers. And he's fouled. Brad Sellers saying the turnabout's fair play. He did the same thing to Blob this time down as he simply showed himself coming out front. They made a little back cut to the basket. And Bob over the top. Brad Sellers shooting kick. Lop's first personal, each team with five team fouls. Brad Sellers, the transfer from Wisconsin. First year for Ohio State, and he gets his first point. Keith Wesson now getting up off the Ohio State bench. Wesson is coming in for Sellers, so he'll not check in right now. Basket is good. And Keith Wesson comes in. Wesson, academically ineligible first semester and then had arthroscopic knee surgery in early December, returned 10 days ago. Brad Sellers goes to the bench without a field goal so far in this one. Robinson missed the shot. Morgan gets the rebound. Winston Morgan. Eldon Miller livid over that play, wanting a call. Taylor brings it back on Konchek. Time Taylor penetrated. Three red shirts waiting for him on the baseline once again. Joe Konchek with a jumper. There's not much defense for that one, I'll tell you. Big fella 6'8 can take it in there and then fade away. And still shoot it with touch. Move a block. Giomi. And the foul will be on Joe Kacha. Ohio State so conscious of when the big guy gets the ball inside that everybody turns to look to see what's happening. Here's Diomi without a good block out into him. And he simply struggles his way to the offensive board and tries to knock it back in. He'll go to the line. Diomi. Is now uh, 12 of 22 from the free throw line for the season. Getting one of two gives him three points. Indiana leads 20 to 18 with 10.25 remaining in the first half. Roy Taylor. And Taylor. It's his first field goal. 20-20 is the score with 10-10 left. Pressure once again bothering Indiana. Robinson lost control of it. <laughs> McGee. Clarence McGee gives Ohio State its second lead of the day. Steve Alford in a 22-22 contest. 9-26 left in the first half. Good footwork and handling of the basketball that time by Alford as he just used Duve Block. Big fella just stood stationary and without really coming to sudden degrees, aggressive screen. Taylor over Alford. Bad shot that time. Now 
Morgan has it to Robinson. Alford again. Steve Alford, 61% from the field. Four field goals so far today, and Indiana back on top, 24-22. Joe Kotchak, it's Indiana ball. And Ron Stokes comes in. Steve Alford, dealing a hot hand for Indiana. They will really have to start to crowd him. And that'll just make it tougher on him inside. And a steal. Steal for Stu Robinson. Ronnie Stokes now on Alford, trying to chase him all over the floor. That takes Stokes out of the help position. Now they dump it straight inside, and that'll be a foul on Keith Wesson. That is number one on Wesson. And it's the seventh Ohio State team foul. Winston Morgan delivering the pass. Indiana is in the bonus with 7.49 left in the first half. And Uwe Block. Second trip to the free throw line. He's one and one so far tonight. Shooting about 52% from the floor, which you might expect out of a man his size and where he gets the ball in his offense. But what's surprising about Block this year is the fact that he's shooting over 80% from the free throw line. Well, Block three of three at the line today with nine points. 7.49 remaining in the first half. It's Indiana 28. Ohio State's number is 22. We'll be back with more right after this. Glaring sun can be downright dangerous. And most sunglasses just make things darker and hard to see. You need high definition contrast and clarity. You need our brand new HD Vision sunglasses. Over 12 million sold and now they fold. That's right. Our newest best high definition lenses in a revolutionary foldable frame. HD Vision foldaways. Small enough to fit in a shirt pocket. Even that tiny purse. And these new lenses are our best high-definition optics ever. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> these are great. I don't know how you do it. It just looks that much more clear. See, this is what's so amazing because I use little purses. Other foldable sunglasses cost up to $300. And our lenses are clearer, brighter, and preferred by virtually everyone. Everything's so clear. I love the color behind the lens. Everything's clear, crisp. The fact that they fold up. And I can put them in my pocket. HD Vision Foldaways. The coolest, most amazing sunglasses you've ever seen. They're like magic sunglasses with high definition lenses. But most amazing is the price. Right now, you can get HD Vision Foldaways for just $14.99. That's right, just $14.99 for the coolest sunglasses you've ever seen. No way. If the quality is here and the price is here, it doesn't make any sense. But good for us. But that's not all. You'll get a second pair free. Just pay processing and handling. You can even upgrade to foldable aviators. You're kidding me. Two pairs of these glasses. Don't wait. Get the coolest sunglasses and the best value you've ever seen. Call or go online right now. HD Vision Foldaways. To order HD Foldaways, call 1-800-991-3678. That's 1-800-991-3678. Or you can visit us online at hdfoldaways.com. HD Foldaways, an Idea Village product. For nationwide drivers, every race matters. They have everything to win and everything to lose. With every win, they're closer to winning the nationwide title. With every loss, they're closer to losing it all. 
and only a checkered flag separates obscurity from greatness. This is the Nationwide Series. The NASCAR Nationwide Series at Las Vegas, Saturday at 4 on ESPN2. Mr. Dick Delaney, the Associate Athletic Director here at Ohio State, that's been ill for some time, and those folks really miss him. He's also the advisor, as you can tell, to the cheerleading staff. Yes, indeed, we can tell the affinity there. Eldon Miller talking to the officials. At the end of this game, and we've still got a long way to go, we'll select our player of the game, the award sponsored by our good friends at Gillette, and we appreciate their support. We have two previous winners with us here this afternoon. Brad Sellers of Ohio State was a Gillette player of the game in the contest against Wisconsin, and Winston Morgan won the honor last Saturday. And it's Morgan at the line. Probably a good timeout call that last time by Eldon Miller as his team was getting involved in a little extracurricular activities other than basketball, trying to settle down Troy Taylor. Crowd still very much into this basketball game. Indiana's lead is four points with 5.22 remaining. Ron Stokes. Oh my. They cleared out a side. Great individual move. He simply just blew by the Indiana defense. We're coming right back down. The shot flop on the rebound. It was Morgan. Then the flop shot. And the foul on Sellers. Ohio State wanting the call with the off arm. Zuve missed time and then waits on the ball. The right arm was out there going up with the left hand. Call against Brad Sellers. Another look at it. Brad Sellers felt that one, I'll tell you. Flop has been a frequent uh, guest at the free throw line. Now with 11 points. Indiana leads by three. Make it a four-point game, a dozen points for Uwe Blop. Just over five minutes left in the first half. Troy Taylor with a tailor-made shot. If the Ohio State guards continue to shoot it outside, they could really help their ball club offensively. Taylor Not only takes for the made shots, but also maybe freeing up Sellers inside. Brought it away by Hobson, but he'll draw the foul. Second one on Dennis Hobson. Morgan once again with a good look. Hobson with a little contact coming from behind. Very close. Ellen Miller has shed the coat over in front of the Ohio State bench. I always get a kick out of these coaches when they claim this is just another ball game. Yeah, well, it's not. Todd Meyer making the first of two. 35-32. Missing the second. Taylor. Shot is off. Block. No contact has it. Hobson. Foul on block. Tell we're in Columbus, Ohio, as they obviously love this one. It looked like flop on the first rebound. Might have got bumped a little bit himself. Definitely fouled Hobson on that one. You know, just going back to the coat for a moment, Eldon might have tossed it somewhere because it was just handed to him a few moments ago and he put it back on. Hobson hits the first of two. He can cut it to one. And he does. Marty Simmons about to check in. 35-34 is the score. Indiana lucky to get that ball inbounds. Stu Robinson being guarded by Dave Jones. Is Hobson on Simmons. That's Koncheck inside against Uwe Blob, and they're looking for him. Pass to Blob. I think he 
trying to the basketball. Good help side defense by Ohio State. Conchek trying to front, Taylor in behind. Block found a little pressure and shuffled his feet. Dave Jones. remaining in the first half and Ohio State by one. Chip of Morgan once again. Little touch pass inside. Taylor coming across to help out. Bluff gets the layup. A chance to tie the ball game. Delray Brooks is in the game. The freshman from Michigan City, Indiana. Keith Wesson is coming in. And Troy Taylor is going to go out. Buckeyes had Stokes and Taylor and Jones all in the game at the same time. Now Taylor goes out, Wesson comes in. They're on along with Hobson, so they had the speed advantage of four of the five positions. And obviously, really, at all five because Koncheck is a little quicker than Uwe Block. From Munich, West Germany. Second time that Block has hit a three point play. And we are tied up. Now Todd Meyer comes in and. Uh, Uwe Blop checks out. Blop's seeing a lot of uh, more playing time this week than he did last week. 38-38 with 3.08 left in the first half. You'll see a little different style in the Indiana team right now when he goes to the bench. Give it a one-way, Bill. Much more mobile as a group now. And offensively, they'll probably run a little bit more of their passing game. But Ohio State's starting to light it up from outside as Jones knocks it in again. This is the fourth Ohio State lead. We'll see Indiana now play without a true center. All five people in motion. Knocked away. Jones and Stokes were right on top of Steve Alford. Alford attempting to go one-on-one. -on -one. Jones doing most of the defensive work there. Stokes was right there to help out. Off the hand of Delray Brooks, and he stepped on the uh, out-of-bounds line. Credit that one to the defense. Indiana 3-1 and one in the Big Ten. Ohio State 2-2. Two and two. Iowa also with a 3-1 and one record plays tonight. Therein tells some of the story. Jim Clemens, a fine assistant coach from Ohio State. Trying to settle the ball club down a little bit. It's tough to be this hyped up and then relax offensively. Second person on Todd Meyer. The time they dumped it inside. Wesson with good position, held his position. Meyer trying to get around him and picks up the personal foul. Wesson is just one of two at the line this year, this being his third game. Wesson will shoot one and one. One and one for Wesson. leading by three. And the foul. It'll go against Ohio State. We'll walk down the other end. Somewhat of a senseless foul, and I think that fact might be agreed upon on by Eldon Miller as he looks on. Konchak simply going up and over the back. With Todd Meyer out of Lord's Academy in Ashkosh, Wisconsin, one and one. Thank you. Give Meyer two points for the game. Ohio State with a two-point lead. One 
point game. Joe Koncheck with a shot that's good. Big Joe trying to make up for that foolish foul moments ago, but knocking it in from outside the top of the key. Buckeyes by three over the Hoosiers. Uwe Blop is out of the game for a moment. Also, Troy Taylor is on the Ohio State bench. Robinson missed the shot and the foul. Two shot foul. Robinson hesitated a little bit when he received the basketball. Then elected to go ahead and take it toward the hoop. Stokes picking up the personal foul. And that's number three on Ron. Now Clarence McGee comes in, so now who does that put in the guard position? State will go, probably go with Hobson and Jones back there right now. Very seldom do they have a situation where they find both Stokes and Taylor on the bench. Taylor with three personal, Stokes with three. That could be a huge factor here in the second half. 43-42, Ohio State leading by... The one point with a minute 22 remaining. Hobson. Rebound. David Jones comes through, puts it in, and draws a foul. Super individual effort by Dave Jones. Ohio State had so many size problems last year, he had to play a forward position. So he's no stranger down inside. Fine rebound and good aggressive move. He's happy about it. Ohio State leading by three. Jones could make it a four-point lead. Jones 2-2 two two at the line in this game. Bob Knight, while we were in that replay moments ago, pulled over some folks to talk to him. Stokes, Taylor, and Jones, three Ohio State guards, all coming up with offensive rebounds and baskets here in the first half. 1-12 remaining in the half. Marty Simmons went down. Off the hand of Delray Brooks. Scrabble for the loose ball picked up by Hobson. Oh my, what a great Kocek. move. Basket's good, Koncheck scores. And Ohio State on the verge of a 50-point half. Look at this quickness by Hobson as he turns on the Jets on that last step to go to the hoop. And Koncheck following up inside. Once again, the team defense of Ohio State and more quickness. Hobson really right here, just takes it to the basket. Gonna have to double check that uh, foul. Here's Koncheck with a shot, and it's good. Nine points. Now we've been told the foul was on Delray Brooks. His first personal. We're under a minute. First half, and Ohio State leading by seven. Ohio State, Indiana taking Bob out with a three minute mark. Offensively, they've been totally ineffective since then. Simmons with a shot, and the foul on Keith Wesson. Alfred laid the little hook shot up as he was on the move. Simmons with a rebound. Very obvious personal. And Steve Isle, who played very well last Saturday against Wisconsin, comes in. I want to mention at halftime, we have a special interview with Dr. Robert uh, Murphy, Ohio State team doctor and the chairman of the Big Ten Drug Awareness Committee. We'll be talking about that at halftime. Simmons. Murphy, one of the real leaders in sports medicine. Miller wanting just one shot down at the other end. 43 seconds remaining in the first half. Ohio State leading by six. Thirty-five seconds remaining in the first half. Down to thirty. Twenty-three. Down to 20 seconds. Twelve seconds. Ten seconds. Gotta start moving it in. Seven. Five. 
5-4. Shot by Kotchek is good. And there it is, the end of the first half. Well, a 50-point half for Ohio State. Kotchek hits near the buzzer. And as we look at the pass from Dave Jones to Joe Kotchek, it's this Kotchek jumper that gives Ohio State a halftime lead over Indiana of 51 to 43. Back with more right after this. This urgent message is for all homeowners paying more than 3% mortgage interest. Right now, Greenlight Financial has an incredible opportunity for you to refinance into a 10-year fixed rate loan with an APR and rate of only 2.75%. Plus, no closing costs. Never before, probably never again, will you be able to get a 10-year fixed rate loan with an amazing rate and APR of only 2.75%. Get out of your unpredictable adjustable loan and refi into a safe and secure 10-year fixed rate loan with a rate and APR of only 2.75%. No more rising interest rates. No more higher monthly payments. You'll save hundreds every month, thousands every year, tens of thousands over the life of your loan. 1-800-473-2289. A 10-year fixed rate loan with a rate and APR of only 2.75%, plus no closing costs. You've got the green light. 1-800-473-2289. On Super Tuesday, two marquee programs tip off in a late-season top 20 battle. After being near the top of the polls all season, Seven. the Hoosiers look to remain atop the Big Ten. Playmaker Victor Oladipo leads Indiana against gritty Ohio State in a game that could be another Big Ten classic. Arkansas, Missouri at 7. Then Ohio State versus Indiana at 9. Tonight on ESPN. Now is the perfect time to save more on a new Ford at E. Patrick Boonville Ford. Hundreds of 2013s, all priced to move. Over 500 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Look at all of our great inventory. And we're Ward County's only Ford dealer. Other Ford dealers can say they have the best deal. I personally guarantee to beat any Tri-State competitive Ford dealer. We're not only the fastest growing Ford dealership in the Tri-State. We're the fastest growing dealership in the entire nation. You gotta give us a try before you buy. At the Patrick Boonville Ford on Highway 62. Wow music. Get the hottest music. Go back to see how I got Access to 3 million tracks for one low monthly price. Are you ready? Play it free for 30 days. Access your music from any PC, anywhere, anytime. With new releases every Tuesday. Order now and get 30 days of wow music free. Welcome back, I'm Mike Gleason. From Michael Jordan, to Keith Smart, to Jim Valvano, to Shattered Backboards, college basketball in the 1980s provided plenty of thrilling moments. Here's a look back at some of the decade's finest. Here's a drive by Capehart. Capehart going in, Capehart blocked by Skeeter Roberts. Boy, did he get a great block. Oh, my God. Did you see that? Jackson got a shot away. Go! Clock doesn't stop Anderson. when he pushes it. Oh, I can't believe it now. Nick Anderson hit the shot. Oh! College basketball in the 80s, filled with the excitement of buzzer beaters and the long, long, long shots like U.S. Reed's winner for Arkansas. Michael Jordan again for North Carolina. Lorenzo Charles for 1983's Wolfpack win over Houston. And Les Henson's 89-footer created pandemonium as Florida State beat Virginia Tech. You want Hoosier hysteria? In 1987, Keith Smart's 16-foot jumper gave Indiana a 74-73 win over Syracuse. Smart down low to Daryl Thomas. Eight seconds to go. Out to Smart. Baseline jump shot in the air. Good! Four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one. The Hoosiers have won the national championship. You want more memorable moments? How about Dwight Anderson shot from behind the basket? It wasn't a game winner, but how can you forget it? Speaking of forgetting, Notre Dame forgot to play defense on Danny Ainge in 1981. Yes, there were upsets and buzzer beaters, but the 80s also brought changes in the game, like the 45-second clock and the three-pointer. The new rules helped Loyola Marymount and U.S. International break five NCAA scoring records last January 31st, for a total of 331 points. 
Another record maker. George Ann Wells, with an early Christmas gift, became the first woman to dunk in an NCAA game. But the play of the 80s in college basketball may have belonged to Jerome Lane. Lane's on the other wing. He finds oh! oh! Yes, a smashing decade it was. I'm Chris Fowler, ESPN. What a decade indeed. Still ahead, 1985, the year in music, highlighted by Live 8. Stay with us right here on ESPN Classic. 51-43, Ohio State with a halftime lead. Buckeyes are getting good production off the uh, off the bench in the first half, uh, especially from Dave Jones, uh, Bill. Well, he had a fabulous first half. He came in and delivered 11 points for Ohio State. Only had one rebound, but that was a rebound basket. You see the first half numbers in front of you. Both teams shooting it very well from the floor. Both teams shooting it well from the line. Bench points at the very bottom, very, very critical in this first half of action. And turnovers in Indiana with 12, just four for Ohio State. Now we'll check some of the individual uh, numbers uh, for you. First of all, Indiana, Uwe Block is the top scorer with uh, 15. Steve Alford with 12. Mike Giomi, the only Indiana player with uh, three or more fouls. And on the Ohio side uh, page, Bill. Well, Indiana did a, really did an excellent job in the first half on Brad Sellers, but his teammates really came to the forefront and helped him out. The big numbers in the first half, though, are on that right side. Stokes and Taylor both will be playing with three personal fouls as we start the second half. Bill mentioned that Sellers, uh, without a field goal, the uh, goal for two, the field three of four from the line with the uh, three points. Brad Sellers leading Ohio State in scoring 19.1 coming into the game and leading in rebounds 9.8. Sellers in the uh, first half had uh, three rebounds. Two pretty Ohio good State. field goal teams. Well, Indiana comes in as the number two team in the nation from the floor. Now Steve. 56%. Duke is the national leader at the present time. Steve Isle will start the uh, second half, puts the ball in play number 32. And Dave Jones starting for Ronnie Stokes for Ohio State. He's checking all for defensively. Eight-point Ohio State lead at the start of the second half. Winston Morgan called for traveling. And Morgan, Robinson, Alford, Block, and Isle are the five starting the second half for Indiana. Ohio State has Hobson, Konchak, Sellers, Jones, and Taylor. Well, from past experience, we know the Hoosiers really value the first five minutes of the second half. It's always been a key moment in every ball game for Bob Knight. Well, we saw that in the Michigan game. Brad Sellers misses the shot. Went to get it back out of bounds. It'll be Ohio State's ball. Bob Knight's club at one point in the first half was up 28 to 22. Hobson's shot comes up short. The size simply didn't work. 6'5", Hobson trying to challenge 7'2", inch Uwe Blob inside. Winston Morgan shot. Sellers the rebound. Now we're still sitting on the same number that we were at at halftime. A minute into the second half. Goncheck dumps it off to Jones. Taylor with a shot. And Ohio State enjoys its largest lead. Troy Taylor with nine points. Traveling call. George Solomon, Darwin Brown, and Mike Stockter are the officials. This game today, pretty much what we expected from these two clubs. And we've got a great one coming up for you on the TCS Metro Sports Big Ten Package tonight. Iowa at Michigan. Hawkeyes and the Wolverines from Ann Arbor. That should be another dandy. Both of those clubs coming off very impressive wins. Away. Ten more turnovers for Indiana. Buckeyes coming back. 
They cut 11. 11 indeed. Hobson. Dennis Hobson with 10 points. Ohio State leads by 12. Overall team quickness of Ohio State simply beating Indiana down the floor. They weren't ready to play defense. Very alertly, Ohio State got it inside and got the easy one. Inside to Uwe Block. And Block scores. That gives him 17 points. Bob Knight up off the Indiana bench. He'll be making a change. Marty Simmons about... Or no, I take that back. It's uh, number 11, Dan Dockage, about to come in. Taylor up the lane. Stokes. Across, Dave Jones fires it up and in. I'll tell you, he averaged about 32 a game in high school. He was a 1981 Class A Ohio Player of the Year. He's stroking it today like he's back in high school. What a day for Dave Jones. Uwe Block comes back and answers with two of his own. Go! Go! Ohio! Go! Go! Ohio! And a foul on Troy Taylor, player control. That'll be his fourth personal. Tried to take it one-on-one. -on -one. Alford had established position. Excuse me, Stu Robinson. Robinson was there, and once you turn that back, many times you're going to pick up the personal. It's happened once again to Troy Taylor. Yeah, Taylor is out, and Ron Stokes comes in. Stokes has three personals of his own. 57-47, 16-50 remaining in the second half. Robinson to Dockage. Steve Alford. Stu Robinson shot is no good. Dennis Hobson. Now Dave Jones. Sellers on the other side. Bouncing around but not dropping in. Still looking for that first field goal. Now Isle. Driving to the basket. Block with a rebound. Puts it in Uwe Block. 21 points. Got an aggressive move by the freshman aisle. Lost his concentration at the very end because of a little contact inside. And only the fifth time in Uwe Block's career that he's had 20 or more points in a game. Hobson. Knocked out of bounds by Dan Dockage. Good help by Dockage because Hobson had the layup. The ball going out of bounds stops the clock with 15 minutes and 39 seconds remaining in the second half. From Columbus, Ohio, Big Ten basketball. Ohio State 57, Indiana 49. Back with more right after this. Imagine a lawn vacuum powerful enough to clear the largest lawns clean as a carpet in one pass and compact enough to hang right on the wall. Introducing the Cyclone Rake. Hitching a cyclone rake to your riding mower gives you 10 times the lifting power and many times the debris capacity of mowers alone. Clear overgrown fields of tall grass or weeds in a single pass. And when you're done, they'll look like fairways. When autumn comes, clear the heaviest leaf cover with sitting down ease. Or connect the power vacuum pickup accessory and clear all the areas you can't drive to. With 17 feet of reach, it goes almost anywhere. Vacuum, mulch, and haul away all your yard debris in one easy step instead of struggling endlessly with blowers and rakes. With up to 415 gallons of capacity, the Cyclone Rake lets you clear more property with fewer stops to unload. Emptying the Cyclone Rake is simple too. Its patented hitch never jackknives. Just back up to your compost site, lift the collector, and drive away. When you're done, the Cyclone Rake folds flat in a few easy steps without any tools for space-saving storage right on your wall. I'm Jim Whitney, Cyclone Rake inventor and CEO. I'm so confident you'll love our Cyclone Rake. We'll let you try one risk-free for an entire year. Hitch it up, give it a real workout. If you're not thrilled, we'll take it back for a full refund. This is my Cyclone Rake here, and uh, I used to do it with this which would take me a heck of a long time, so I don't need that anymore. Couldn't ask for a better machine. 
Turn backbreaking property care into a ride in the park. Request a free Cyclone Rake Information Kit. Call 1 800 314 5676 or visit cyclonerake.com and enter discount code EC2 to get your free Cyclone Rake Information Kit. Call 1 800 314 5676 or visit cyclonerake.com today. For nationwide drivers, every race matters. They have everything to win and everything to lose. With every win, they're closer to winning the nationwide title. With every loss, they're closer to losing it all. And only a checkered flag separates obscurity from greatness. This is the Nationwide Series. The NASCAR Nationwide Series at Las Vegas, Saturday at 4 on ESPN2. Take a look at the two huddles as they break. Coach Bobby Knight, and a couple of assistant coaches over there along helping him today. Jimmy Cruz, his first player to ever coach with him. That's Jim right there in the tan jacket. Joby Wright also on that Indiana bench. That big fellow is an all Big Ten player. And you look down at the Ohio State side and you see Jimmy Clemens right there in the tan jacket. Most valuable player in the Big Ten in 1971. Last time that Ohio State enjoyed winning the Big Ten championship. Jim was uh, in between Todd Landrum and Mike Borden. Mike is the Ohio State trainer. No contact. Got it away by Dockage. Uwe Block has all six of uh, Indiana's second half points. Block three of three in the second half of the field. Hobson just missed the steal. And Dan Dockage scores his first two points. There's the guy nobody thinks can really play basketball. Might not look like that much of an athlete, but boy, is that kid effective. Made a big steal at one end and gets a basket at the other. Ohio State's lead was 12 a few moments ago. It's now six. Make it eight. Boy, and Koncheck just threw Dockage right out of bounds, and Dave Jones drills another from that side. Dan Dockage came down after the official. What was that? <laughs> Darwin Brown still doesn't know because he simply did not see it. Trying to shoot over Koncheck. Joe Koncheck has it. 14-24, pass to Sellers. And he stepped out of bounds. Timing was just a bit off on the pass. And Sellers came down, found himself under the basket. Communicated as Stokes saw him, gave him the nod. Went a little too far and very clearly stepped over the end line. Shot by Steve Alford. Alford's first two points of the second half. He has 14 in the game, and Ohio State leads 59-53. Just over 14 minutes remaining. In the end, at this point, looking all serious. Ohio State a little bit out of gas right now. The crowd's quieted somewhat. We really had an emotional lift right here at the beginning of the second half. Dave Jones, very much a factor in this game. 17 points. Here comes the crowd again. Career high for Jones is 20 against Minnesota last year. He's closing in on that. A lot of banging going on inside. Koncheck trying to keep up with Block. Steve Isles shot rejected by Brad Sellers. Ohio State leads by eight. Steve Isle has it off the uh, floor for Indiana. Steve Alford. Into Uwe Block. Block eight points in the second half, 23 in the game. Troy Taylor is on the Ohio State bench with four personal. Shot by Hobson, and he's fouled by number 32 of Indiana, Steve Isle. Hobson holding ground. Just turns around with a little up and jump. Freshman Isle getting a piece of him. Steve Isle from Hamilton, Ohio. And Dennis Hobson from Toledo. Hobson 
Stetson's been averaging a dozen points in Big Ten games this year. And he has a dozen points in this game. An eight-point Ohio State lead with 12 and a half minutes remaining. Uve Flop has been in the lane a lot in the second half. Comes up empty with this shot. If he has to shoot the ball, I think Ohio State would have rather have him taken that fade away than they would those strong moves going to the basket. Good defensive play by Block. Morgan to Alford, or to Robinson to Alford, rather. Missed the shot. Buckeyes come right back. Now they slow it down a bit. Good defensive play that time by Stokes as Alford elected not to take it right to the basket. Rebound by Hobson. He is called. Basket is good. Hobson's simply too active for Isle. He can't stay with him. Here's that second personal on Steve Isle. And once again, Dennis Hobson. Three-point play, yes. and 51 seconds remaining in the second half from St. John Arena. It's Ohio State 66, Indiana 55. Back with more Big Ten basketball in a moment. For bigger arms, shredded shoulders, rock-hard abs, and a chiseled chest, rely on the name that means success. This is the Bowflex Uppercut, your all-access pass to the toughest exercises on the planet. You'll go deep with uppercut presses to build powerful arms and an explosive chest that deserves respect. Killer pipes to reveal washboard abs and stronger shoulders. Vicious dives to fire your core and light up your lats. And shredding flies to define, sculpt, and tear you up. Up. The secret is Uppercut's ARC technology, proven to activate up to 30% more muscle, enable four times more reps, and deliver perfect control for moves impossible until now. Want more? The Bowflex Uppercut comes with three adjustable resistance levels and over 30 unique exercises with unlimited variations. You'll work your body in ways you can't do alone, with perfect form, every rep, every time. So if this is how you train, Step up your game and try the Bowflex Uppercut in your home for just $14.95. Order today and you'll receive the Uppercut Dirty Dozen Workout Poster with 12 previously impossible moves to get you tore up from the floor up. You'll also have access to the Bowflex Body Plan to help you build muscle, burn fat, and get ripped. And because DVDs are dead, flex your swagger with the free Uppercut mobile web app for iPhone and Android loaded with even more workouts. Try the Bowflex Uppercut today for just $14.95 for a full 30 days. If you don't see results, you didn't open the box. But you can still send it back for a full refund of the purchase price. And we'll send it to someone who wants to look like this. Call the number below or log on to tryuppercut.com for your Bowflex Uppercut today. You never know when the right moment will come along, so you need to be ready. Okay, seriously, what are you waiting for? When you call, ask how you can get these free handles and free shipping when you order the Bowflex Uppercut today. Do it now. Rivalry Games highlight a special College Game Day doubleheader. Glad to have you with us. This Saturday, the Game Day crew hits two stops. First, they'll visit Georgetown. Then later, they head south to UNC. College Game Day covered by State Farm. Live from Syracuse, Georgetown in the morning. Then, live from Duke, North Carolina in primetime. Saturday on ESPN. Welcome back, I'm Mike Gleason. In 1985, the pop world joined forces to fight hunger in Ethiopia. Two star-studded live aid concerts were staged at Wembley Stadium in London and JFK Stadium in Philadelphia on July 13th. The event ran for 16 hours and was watched by an estimated audience of 2 billion viewers in 152 countries. Among the music giants who participated, Led Zeppelin, The Who, Queen, Madonna, U2, Tina Turner, and Judas Priest. 
Meanwhile, We Are the World, the Michael Jackson penned famine relief song, was the second biggest selling single of the year. Still ahead, some classic trivia, but right now let's get back to Indiana and Ohio State from 1985, right here on ESPN Classic. Don't forget now tonight, Iowa against Michigan. That'll be our other TCS Metro Sports game, and it starts at 9 o'clock Eastern Time. Lauren Brown and George Palmy will be on hand in Ann Arbor. Iowa 3-1, and one, Michigan 3-2. and two. Indiana trailing by 11. Keith Wesson back in the game for Ohio State. Wesson at number 43. Croft calling for that ball inside. The guy really wants it here today. Steve Alford jumping it into Steve Isle, and Isle with the shot. Alford appeared to be confused what he wanted to do with the ball. Good team defense by Ohio State on the double team. Good recovery by Alford. Just over 11 minutes remaining. Hobson shot over Dockets at the front of the rim. Alford picks it up for Steve Isle. Robinson out in front, past the Dockets. It's good, and the foul on Dennis Hobson. Hobson forced up a bad shot down at the other end, and then gets burnt. It's Alford with a good recovery in the end. He gets out with it. Bounce pass across the lane. Pretty good body control right there by Dan Dockage. He's got it up and in with the left hand. Dan Dockage from Merrillville, Indiana. Three-point play. 66 to 60. Dockage playing very well since he came off the bench. Indiana not getting much production scoring-wise out of their bench in the first half. Dockage with five here in the second half. Brad Sellers missed the shot and then kicked it in. Sellers with his first field goal. Brad 68-60. Ohio State, Dan Dockage. Seven points. Elvin Miller's club now has a late cut to six. Halfway point of the second half. And the foul on Keith Wesson. That is number three on Wesson. Tried to create a little space inside that time with his upper body as you see Joe Koncheck checking back in for Ohio State. Dennis Hobson going out. Cleared out the side this time for Alford. He dumps it back out on top. And a foul of Deion Wesson. That's his fourth. Once Uwe Blom sets up along that lane line, he's simply not going to let you come around in front of him. He spreads out. Big wingspan and the legs are well spread. Wesson just pushes from behind. Fourth Ohio State team foul. and pass for Iowa. He couldn't hold on it the first time, but got it back. Tough break that time for Ohio State. The Sellers had moved well, made the interception, lost the handle, and Iowa picked up the easy one. Troy Taylor has been on the bench the last seven and a half minutes with a fourth personal. He's about to check back in. Sellers going to the basket. And Sellers with seven points. Ohio State leads 70-64, nine minutes left. Robinson already cut into the basket, didn't see it. That's the wrong guy to throw it to once again. That Seems to me over. made a play last week that same way. <laughs> Dave Jones goes out, and Troy Taylor is in. Once again, Taylor with four personals. 
He was out of the game for about eight minutes that last stretch. We'll repeat it once again. If you're going to throw the ball away, do not throw it to the head coach. No. The Buckeyes started the Big Ten losing in Michigan and Michigan State. Came back with wins at home last week over Wisconsin and Northwestern. And quickness covers a lot of mistakes. Taylor not taking the best of shots, but very quickly going after his own miss. Comes up with a basketball. Ronnie Stokes to Joe Konchak. And he misses the shot. Uwe Block gets the big rebound. Troy Taylor very close to picking up his fifth there as he went after that rebound. Now the fake and Alford with a fine move to score his 16th point. And you see Troy Taylor picking himself up off the floor. He didn't want to get in contact there, so he simply did a little seat drop. Just fell over to avoid any possible contact. Buckeyes have enjoyed a 12-point lead in this half. Right now it's a six-point advantage. Taylor missed the shot. And Dan Dockich has it. Dave Jones off the bench for Ohio State. Dan Dockich for Indiana. Alford into Uwe Block. Block dumping it off. Stu Robinson looks a couple of times. A fake and now to Block. Oh, boy. Sellers went down hard. Uwe Block going to the basket. Robinson giving it inside. The big guy just takes it up. Now he had one hand on the basketball and the other hand, the off arm was down. That's when we were talking earlier about the bulk. Seller simply doesn't have the bulk to stay with a man of that size. Konchek muscling him or trying to most of the ball game. Three fouls on Sellers as trainer Mike Bordner walks him over to the bench, and you see Sellers telling the official about the off arm. That is the fifth Ohio State team foul. George Solomon talking to Eldon Miller. Now we got Bob Knight going toward the scorer's table. As I understand the rule, coaches are permitted to leave that coaching box to during a dead ball situation or to confer at the scores table. Uwe Block shooting two. Now well, Uwe is now seven of nine from the line today. Four points. Uve blocks. Free throw cuts the Ohio State lead to three. 7 11 remaining in the second half. Buckeyes 70, Hoosiers 67. Back with more in a moment. Who can you trust to win your Social Security disability benefits for you? Well, the best honest answer is go with the winner. Binder and Binder is America's most successful Social Security disability advocates. We all know we shouldn't use cotton swabs to clean or dry out ears. Ah! Introducing WaxVac, the safe and effective way to clean and dry your ears. Unlike cotton swabs, which push dirt and wax further into your ear. Ouch! WaxVac gently draws dirt particles and moisture out of your ear. WaxVac is quiet, safe. Its unique safety guard prevents it from going too deep and effective. See how gently it vacs water and dirt. Just empty it out when you're done. Doctors everywhere warn against using cotton swabs to clean your ears. Stop using cotton swabs in your ears. Ow! Order the wax vac now for only $10. Wax vac comes with eight soft color coated silicone tips and this handy cleaning brush free. It even has this powerful examining light. But wait, there's more. Call now and we'll double the offer. You get two wax vacs plus 16 color coded tips and two cleaning brushes for only $10. Just pay additional processing. To order WaxVac for $10 plus processing and handling, call 1-800-424-2481 or go to WaxVac.com. Order now. Tuesday, March 19th, you'll be hitting the rewind button to watch 10 celebrities do this again. Oh! Splash, 
series premiere Tuesday, March 19th. It's the last thing they see. Rock bottom! Before one, two, three. All March, WWE presents the 50 greatest finishing moves in WWE history. From the height of danger. Superfly! Through the most innovative and downright brutal finishers of all time. WWE presents the 50 greatest finishing moves in WWE history. All March on pay-per-view. Domestic violence is a very personal, emotional, physical, psychological problem. Every day, my office sees victims of domestic violence. People that can't take it anymore. People that come forward, that speak up. And that's why we've partnered with several local service agencies to create a website, speakuptristate.com. If you or someone you know is a victim of domestic violence, please visit speakuptristate.com to learn how we can help. And it's all right here in St. John Arena, Ohio State leading 72. 67. Look at the coaching uh, situation on the benches. Indiana 3 and 1, Iowa 3 and 1. Iowa plays tonight against Michigan. Michigan State 3 and 2, Michigan 3 and 2. Illinois won this afternoon and beating Northwestern 55 to 43, Purdue over Wisconsin 72-68. Coming up tonight Golden Gophers against the Spartans at Michigan State, 7 o'clock. And then Lauren Brown and George Palmy will be with you, 9 o'clock Eastern, GCS Metro Sports Big Ten game. Ohio State with the three guards in the lineup now. Davy Jones playing forward, as we mentioned all last year. Dave Jones, shiver me timbers. Well, he owns that left points. corner here today. Seventy-two, sixty-seven, six forty left. Second half. Steve Alt with a very cool customer. Uve Block shot. Powers on Uve Block. That is his third. Alter from the corner jump. His third is Steve number three. Take a look at that play again with Alford driving to the baseline, a shot over Dave Jones, and the foul is blocked, pushed off Konchak. Bobby Knight staying with a freshman aisle, and Konchak takes advantage of him. Simmons and Giomi, who started the game, both on the bench. As is Winston Morgan. <laughs> Uve Block with a shot over Konchek. Block with 26 points. Boy, really a fine move and good rhythm by Uve. Five point Ohio State lead. First game of the year, Uve Block scored 31 points in the win at Michigan. Troy Taylor. Better shot selection by Ohio State that time, especially for Troy Taylor. He was well set, had his balance. Mike Giomi's about to come back in for Indiana. Five and a half minutes remaining. Bob with the position again. Robinson. Oh! Sellers gets the rebound. Bob goes down, so does Konchek, and it's taken by Dockett. Goes to the hoop and scores. Boy, how about Dockett once again with the left hand? And Uwe Blanc doing a good job of getting himself picked up and getting out of the lane before that three-second call. It's not easy when you're seven foot two. Blanc went down. Konchek went down. There was congestion. Here's uh, Mike Diomi. Steve Isle goes out. So uh, one... Uh, Ohio and replaces another for Indiana. Now in years gone by, this would have been a key situation where an Eldon Miller coach team would probably put in the three guards and spread the floor, bring the ball out. Of course, this year with a 45-second clock, you can't do it. But Ohio State will probably start looking to conserve that clock a little bit more each time down. Taylor to Sellers. Ronnie Stokes being guarded by Steve Alford. 
440 remaining. Fifteen seconds remaining on the shot clock. And a foul on Steve Alford, no basket. Ronnie Stokes going to the hoop, and Alford guilty of his first personal. Stokes just with individually just fabulous quickness. Clearly got the step on Alford, and they bumped. Ohio State will retain possession. And Stokes goes back to a similar play, loses the handle. Once again, the team defense was there and set that time. He released the basketball into a crowd. Hey, get down now. Steve. Steve Alford. 18 points. Well, you have to like guys who want the basketball when it's tight, and Alford wants to take it upon himself. Ohio State's lead at the half was 51-43. The foul, pushing foul on Mike Giomi. That that check trying to cut through the lane without the basketball. Giomi simply not letting him go anywhere. And that is the fourth personal on Mike Giomi. Three minutes and 55 seconds remaining in the second half. And the scoreboard reads Ohio State 76, Indiana 73. Back with more in a moment. Tired of faded bumpers, foggy headlights, weathered, sun-damaged vehicles? You've spent time and money applying product again and again to hide those embarrassing parts on your car, only to have that work fade away. Not anymore. Introducing Wipe New, the world's longest-lasting solution for restoring and protecting your vehicle. And we guarantee it to last for years. Just apply Wipe New once. It's quick and easy to do. Just one swipe and watch your car turn showroom new. I've been a professional auto detailer for 30 years. Now, I restore faded plastic rather than just clean it. And I do it in no time at all. I apply wipe new to bumpers, side panels, even dashes and interior plastic. Simply apply it once and it lasts for years. Wipe new is the most revolutionary car care product that I've used in my entire detailing career. We applied wipe new to the driver's side of this vehicle. We then sent this car through over 100 powerful car washes. Wipe new never faded or washed away, proving that the results will last for years of real work. World environmental exposure. <laughs> I don't think I ever seen it, Brando. I got it about two years old, and I've never seen it shine like this. And we guarantee it to last for years. Use it on bumpers, decorative outside panels, side view mirrors, even vinyl or leather car seats for a protected showroom new shine. Don't spend a fortune on temporary fixes. Order the revolutionary white new for only $19.99. But wait, order now and we'll double the size. That's enough for two cars. There's still more. Order now and get the pro detailing kit with the headlight applicator bonus. Just pay separate shipping and processing. That's right, white new restores your headlights too. Order now and get it all plus a two-year guarantee. A $50 value for only $19.99. Order now. To get your Wipe New detailing kit, call 1-800-670-2103. Wipe New comes with a two-year money-back guarantee and is not available in stores, so call 1-800-670-2103 and order today. On Super Tuesday, two marquee programs tip off in a late-season top 20 battle. After being near the top of the polls all season... Seven. The Hoosiers look to remain atop the Big Ten. Playmaker Victor Oladipo leads Indiana against gritty Ohio State in a game that could be another Big Ten classic. Arkansas, Missouri at 7. Then Ohio State versus Indiana at 9. Tonight on ESPN. It's time now for some classic trivia. We pose this question to you. Who is the all-time leading scorer at Ohio State? Is it Jim Jackson, John Havlicek, Jerry Lucas, or Dennis Hobson? Think quickly. The answer, surprisingly, Dennis Hobson scored 2,096 points from 1984 through 1987. Right now, let's return to the conclusion of Ohio State and Indiana from 1985. Stay with us. You've asked for it. These two clubs bringing out their best, Ohio State leading 76-75 and when it's been a somersaulting type game earlier they went back and forth in the first half and pretty much the uh, lead for Ohio State in the second half. Matter of fact, the uh, last time Indiana led it was back in the first half a 35-32 advantage. Indiana wanting to re retain a share of the lead in the Big Ten Conference. 
with Iowa and Michigan tonight. Iowa State already losing twice on the road. Not wanting to give anything up here at home, and they certainly haven't so far in this one. Indiana playing five of its first seven Big Ten games on the road, and both the Buckeyes and Hoosiers will be uh, on the road next week for two games. Dave Jones misses the shot. Sellers trying to find the handle. Big rebound there, especially if they can convert it. Taylor dumps it to Konchek. And a foul. Well, uh, looked like Darwin Brown calling it once. They won the basket to count. Oh, they're going to count the basket. Basket is going to count. A little shovel pass inside to Konchek. Good call. Konchek had already gotten the ball on the glass. The Nube block came over and got a hand on it. Ball did not go, did not go through the hoop, but the basket counts. Bob Knight. Not happy with that decision. That's the fourth foul on Uve Block. So Konchak with a chance at the three-pointer. Press now, press! Somebody yelled press. A four-point Buckeye lead. Two minutes and ten seconds remaining in the ball game. Ohio State with some good free throw shooters out on the floor. Indiana almost has to score this time down. Uwe Block scores and draws the foul. Good pass inside. Good catch by Block. Goes up with the left hand. The left foot was moving downstairs, but he held the right one. The pivot foot was stationary. Number four on Sellers. Block with a chance to tie his career high right here. Comes up empty. Ohio State leads by two. Just under two minutes remaining. Sellers up in front of uh, Uwe Block. Taylor, Troy Taylor, 13 points. Stu Robinson relaxed just a little bit defensively, and that's all the room that Taylor needed. And a timeout. Glaring sun can be downright dangerous, and most sunglasses just make things darker and hard to see. You need high-definition contrast and clarity. You need our brand new HD Vision sunglasses. Over 12 million sold, and now they fold. That's right, our newest, best high-definition lenses in a revolutionary foldable frame. HD Vision Foldaways. Small enough to fit in a shirt pocket, even that tiny purse. And these new lenses are our best high-definition optics ever. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> these are great. I don't know how you do it. It just looks that much more clear. See, this is what's so amazing because I use little purses. Other foldable sunglasses cost up to $300, and our lenses are clearer, brighter, and preferred by virtually everyone. Everything's so clear. I love the color behind the lens. Everything's clear, crisp. The fact that they fold up. And I can put them in my pocket. HD Vision Foldaways. The coolest, most amazing sunglasses you've ever seen. They're like magic sunglasses with high-definition lenses. But most amazing is the price. Right now, you can get HD Vision Foldaways for just $14.99. That's right, just $14.99 for the coolest sunglasses you've ever seen. No way. The quality is here and the price is here. It doesn't make any sense. But good for us. But that's not all. You'll get a second pair free. Just pay processing and handling. You can even upgrade to foldable aviators. You're kidding me. Two pairs of these glasses. Don't wait. Get the coolest sunglasses and the best value you've ever seen. Call or go online right now. HD Vision Foldaways. To order HD Foldaways, call 1-800-991-3678. That's 1-800-991-3678. Or you can visit us online at hdfoldaways.com. HD Foldaways, an Idea Village product. For nationwide drivers, every race matters. 
They have everything to win and everything to lose. With every win, they're closer to winning the nationwide title. With every loss, they're closer to losing it all. And only a checkered flag separates obscurity from greatness. This is the Nationwide Series. The NASCAR Nationwide Series at Las Vegas, Saturday at 4 on ESPN2. Well, 29 remaining, Indiana with a basketball. Here are some of the numbers that uh, we'll highlight at this point. Uwe with, well, I've got him with 30. We'll have to double check that. I got him with 30 points at this point. Steve Alford with 18. Jones 19. Uh, not shown on there. Dennis Hobson has uh, has 15 points. State stays with pressure. And the foul on Stokes as he pressured Robinson too much. Now I'll tell you, and those are the kind that kill you. Indiana trailing by four. And now having a chance to go to the line. Catch back up with the clock stopped. Only two ticks went off the clock. We're down to a minute 27. Winston Morgan, number 21, is in. Stu Robinson will go to the line, one and one. Robinson, 10 of 16 from the line this year, a junior in Madison, Indiana. Missing the front end, but getting the ball back. Robinson to Alford, member of the U.S. Olympic gold medal winning team. And then we had Koncheck and Block going back and forth, and foul will be on Joe Koncheck, his third. Well, those are real tough calls inside because you really don't know who initiates the original contact. They've been going at it all day. Uve trying to move around back in front. Koncheck had the left arm on him, but obviously they already done quite a bit of bumming before the call. Most times the officials will catch a second one in there. You can give a guy a shot, and then when, when you retaliate, you're usually caught. All right, I've got Uwe now with 31 points. That would tie his career high. <laughs> Missing the second. And the foul will be on Winston Morgan. Well, Indiana, shooting those one-and-ones, actually had an opportunity to tie the score it was 81-77. Robinson missed his. Blop got one out of two. Now they pick up the personal, and Joe Koncheck will step to the line. Shooting one and one. Koncheck, 16 points. Three-point game with a minute 12 remaining. They're looking at one guy again. Blob shaping up inside, and Alford wants that basketball. And Alford called for the foul. That is his second. Down to 58 seconds. One of the toughest shots in the game. Alford really never pulled up on this one. Kind of halfway in between a layup and stopping taking the jumper. Didn't have the good body control necessary. And now Sellers will go to the line. Brad Sellers, seven points in the game. Three of four at the free throw line. Eighty-two, seventy-eight. with a pair. Five point Ohio State lead. Fifty one seconds. Alford in the lane. Giomi the rebound. He scores. Big play by Giomi. So it's 
43 seconds remaining. Stand by local stations. We've got a break for you coming up. 43 seconds remaining in the second half. It's Ohio State 83, Indiana 80. Back after this message from your local station. I have poor credit and cannot get a traditional loan. CashNet USA has been there to pay the bills when I was unable to get money from traditional banks. Instead of having three bounce fees with my bank, I had one repayment fee with CashNet USA that was a fraction of what my bank fees would have been. CashNet USA is the best. There are no hassles, no hidden fees, and they always got the loan the very next day into my account. When I applied, they gave me all the payment details up front, and that's all I paid back. No hidden fees of any kind. CashNet USA is always there for me when I need a loan. The money is in my account the next morning. And the best thing is, I can do everything online in just a few minutes with no phone calls or faxes. CashNet USA. Fast. Easy. Reliable. Go to CashNetUSA.com slash TV to apply in five minutes. And if approved, you can have the money as soon as tomorrow. Save now by using promo code TV68 at CashNetUSA.com slash TV. Money's on the way with CashNet USA. I think GMAT's on vacation, so I think it's going to be next week, maybe? Sure. Really? Dude, what are you doing? What? It's casual Friday. Anyway, I'm trying to get Tuesday off. What? This Tuesday? Yeah. You're probably... I Perfect time to save more on a new Ford at E. Patrick Boonville Ford. Hundreds of 2013s, all priced to move. Over 500 pre-owned vehicles to choose from. Look at all of our great inventory. And we're Ward County's only Ford dealer. Other Ford dealers can say they have the best deal. I personally guarantee to beat any tri-state competitive Ford dealer. We're not only the fastest growing Ford dealership in the tri-state. We're the fastest growing dealership in the entire nation. You gotta give us a try before you buy. At D. Patrick Boonville Ford on Highway 62. Seconds remaining. Well, we've got to zero in on that player of the game. Uh, some sentiment, I'm sure, for Dave Jones at this point. I guess if I had to lean uh, to anyone at this point, I guess I would say Dave Jones. 19 points off the bench. Well, Ohio State simply wouldn't be in the position they are had it not been for David Jones. Is that as definitive an answer as we're going to get out of you at this <laughs> as point? As I can get, buddy. Yeah, well, I don't blame you because this one is. He's still in the balance. Uh, he's done a fabulous job in looking at the player of the game. If you're looking at Indiana, you've got to look at Uwe Plop. He's done everything required of him. Well, despite your definitive answer, the let player of the game, Dave Jones, and foul called on number 22, Stu Robinson. 43 seconds remaining. It's going to be a two-shot situation. No, Lanny, in all fairness to Davy Jones, he came in that first half off the bench. Ohio State getting foul difficulties and delivered 11 big points. Fabulous floor game, and here in the second half, he just filled it up from the left side in particular. Three field goals in a row coming out of the left corner. Ron Stokes, I'm going to say it's one and one. Stokes makes his first trip to the line, a good one. And now Bob Knight wants Uwe Blop and Winston Morgan to change spots underneath. Four-point game. Big free throw here if he can take it back to five. Almost take Indiana three possessions. He's got it. Stokes with ten points. And a foul on Stokes, who's trying to steal the basketball before it got to Dockett. That'll be number five on Stokes, and he'll check out with ten points. Foolish play by Ohio State. Not that the effort wasn't there to come up with a steal, but the fact that you stopped the clock once again when you've got the lead, and the pressure was all on Indiana. Stokes reaching in, actually, with the wrong arm that time. Maybe if he'd gone with it with the left hand and just deflected it out of bounds. Tried to come up with a basketball. 
Dockage now with a chance to cut it back to a three-point ball game. Shooting one and one. Dockage, ten points, two, two of the line. Eighty-five, eighty-one. We're down to thirty-four seconds. Indiana Hoosiers, as a rule, not a great come from behind team. Part of the reason being they seldom get in that position. Pressure on Dave Jones. Thirty seconds. They are so disciplined. However, it's hard for them to rush their offense, and they don't have the quickness for the game they're in right now. And that's pressure in the basketball. Twenty seconds. Taylor is fouled by Dockett, and it'll be two shots. It's going to come down to free throws, like so many of the close ones do. Troy Taylor. We'll go to the line. Bob Knight's team down by three. 17 seconds. If Indiana loses, the Hoosiers will be three and two. Buckeye win would put the Ohio State record at three and two. Troy Taylor. Missing the first of two. Taylor, by the way, hitting double figures today. A string of 30 straight games for Taylor in double figures. All right, the lead goes back to four. Indiana needs two possessions. Robinson flipping it to Uwe Block. Block scores. And quickly a timeout. Uwe Block with a new career high of 33 points. Are you falling behind on your bills? It's no wonder with the cost of food and gas going up so fast. Montel here for Money Mutual. The good news is Money Mutual has a network of over 100 short-term lenders who can get you up to $1,000 in as little as 24 hours, even if you have less than perfect credit. That's why over a million people have turned to Money Mutual. There's no need to be standing in line at a payday store. Money Mutual is private, fast, and easy. Go to MoneyMutual.com today or call. Call 1-800-555-CASH. We all know we shouldn't use cotton swabs to clean or dry out ears. Ow! Introducing WaxVac, the safe and effective way to clean and dry your ears. Unlike cotton swabs, which push dirt and wax further into your ear. Ouch! WaxVac gently draws dirt particles and moisture out of your ear. WaxVac is quiet safe. Its unique safety guard prevents it from going too deep and effective. See how gently it vacs water and dirt. Just empty it out when you're done. Doctors everywhere warn against using cotton swabs to clean your ears. Stop using cotton swabs in your ears. Ow! Order the wax vac now for only $10. Wax vac comes with eight soft color coated silicone tips and this handy cleaning brush free. It even has this powerful examining light. But wait, there's more. Call now and we'll double the offer. You get two wax vacs plus 16 color coded tips and two cleaning brushes for only $10. Just pay additional processing. To order WaxVac for $10 plus processing and handling, call 1-800-424-2481 or go to WaxVac.com. Order now. On Super Tuesday, two marquee programs tip off in a late-season top 20 battle. After being near the top of the polls all season, the Hoosiers look to remain atop the Big Ten. Playmaker Victor Oladipo leads Indiana against gritty Ohio State in a game that could be another Big Ten Classic. Arkansas, Missouri at 7. Then Ohio State versus Indiana at 9. Tonight on ESPN. Can Tim Duncan and the best in the West outrun the stingy Bulls who are hungry for a big win? Bull Spurs, tomorrow at 9 on ESPN. Oh, we still got 11 ticks on the clock. Steve Isle checking back in for the Hoosiers to give them a little more defensive quickness. Indiana will go for the very quick steal. If they miss that, the immediate foul. Ohio State will have to step to the line at least one more time. Important that uh, Robinson got the ball down the court in a hurry. And rather than take the shot, he was able to flip it off the flop. Higher percentage shot for the two points. And to bring Indiana back to within two on this flop shot off the glass. Caught it high and kept it up there. Still had the rhythm to knock it in off the glass. Now Ohio State is in this situation without Ronnie Stokes. He's one of the people they like against pressure because he's so difficult to guard without the basketball. On an inbound situation, he can usually free himself up, but Stokes has just fouled out after that steal attempt at the 34-second mark. 
Down to 11. Don't forget tonight, Iowa and Michigan. Lauren Brown and George Pommy will be on hand and will be on the air at 9 o'clock with our TCS Metro Sports game tonight. The Bill and I will join you next Wednesday from Illinois as the Buckeyes and the Fighting Illini go at it. Illinois winning this afternoon over Northwestern, 55-43. Purdue beating Wisconsin, 72-68. Also tonight, we've got uh, Minnesota at Michigan State in the Big Ten. Timeouts to this point, 11 seconds remaining. Dave Jones will be the trigger man for Ohio State. Indiana talking things over. They probably take a new they blop out in this situation. Yes, they have. And Blop telling Steve Isle that he's got uh, Mike Konchak. Now watch Ohio State if they don't try to throw along here in this situation. Everybody from Indiana up pressuring. They've got Detroit Taylor. And Alford picks up the personal foul. That is his third. They kind of sent Konchak deep. He was the man that took off long. Taylor made a break, came directly to the basketball. This will be the one-on-one -on -one variety. Alford making a good attempt to go for the basketball. Troy Taylor with 1,249 points in his career at Ohio State. Closing in on Clark Kellogg on the Ohio State list. Missing the front end and a timeout. Bob Knight upset with Winston Morgan where he called that timeout. Because Indiana's going to have to come the whole 94 feet now. He would rather have seen one quick pass to half court, bring it across the timeline and get the quick timeout call. Now Ohio State can pressure a little bit defensively, and Indiana's going to have to take some precious time off the clock to get it up the floor. Eight seconds remaining, 86-84. Now you put Uwe back in at this situation. I would imagine the big fellow will be checking back in. All right, there, here are the conference standings for you. Not counting today's game, obviously, because or this one, anyways. The earlier games this afternoon have been penciled in. Illinois four and two, and Purdue three and three. But this one's still in doubt. So will Indiana go to four and one, or will the Hoosiers be three and two? Team, I believe, with uh, no Ohio State with two. Indiana has used its final timeout. Well, they're one of the most well-prepared teams of all time. It was evidenced by Bob Knight, coach teams this past summer in the Olympics. So I'm sure they have something set for this situation. They're not drawing up something brand new. These are things that they've tried, I'm sure, in this situation many times in practice sessions. When you play for a coach like Bob Knight, everything is very structured. Bob is back in the game. Sellers is on him. Ohio State coming with the pressure. Eight seconds remaining. Seven, six, five. They're only going one place. Three, two, one. Block misses the shot. Morgan's shot. Ohio State holds on and wins it. Uwe blocked with a shot. Near the end, did not go. Bob Knight goes over to congratulate Eldon Miller. And so the Hoosiers are three and two, and the Buckeyes are three and two. Can't be disappointed with the attempt they got. I know he is, big number 33, as he goes into the locker room. But they dumped it inside. He rolled across the middle and had the little hook shot. Simply too hard this time around. Number 33 with 33. But Dave Jones, our Gillette player of the game, and Ohio State defeats Indiana. Reserve guard Dave Jones, who averaged 7.2 points a game in 1985, led Ohio State with 18 points. He was one of five Buckeyes to reach double figures. Steve Alford had 18 points to lead the Hoosiers. But Indiana went on to finish 19-14, and 14, Bob Knight's worst mark at IU in his 29 years there. Ohio State wound up falling in the second round of the NCAA tournament to Louisiana Tech, who featured a young player by the name of Carl Malone. That wraps up another classic college basketball showdown. For more information on ESPN Classic programming and specials, log on to ESPN.com, keyword classic. For ESPN Classic, I'm Mike Gleason.
into the infinity.